In this video, we'll take a look at how we can evaluate a logarithm. To evaluate a log, or see what number it equals to, it may be more helpful to make the equation equal to x. x will then represent the logarithm, and we'll just convert it to an exponent. Once we've converted to an exponent, it may be easier to find what x is, and therefore, what the log is equal to. For example, in this problem, if we want to know what log base 4 of 64 equals, we'll say for now, it equals x. x represents the logarithm, and we'll rewrite it as an exponential problem. The base on the log is 4. The exponent is always after the equal sign equals our answer. We have solved problems like this before by getting the same base on both sides. We could do this either by writing both sides as a base of 2, or both sides as a base of 4. Let's go with a base of 2 on this problem. 4 is 2 squared, with an exponent of x on it. 64 is 2 to the 6th power. Combine those exponents, we simply multiply to get 2 to the 2x equals 2 to the 6th. We now have the same base on both sides of the equation, which means we can say the exponents must also be equal. 2x equals 6. Finally, to find x, or the logarithm, we'll divide both sides by 2 to get x equals 3. This means log base 4 of 64 is 3. We have just evaluated the logarithm. Let's try one more example to see if we can evaluate a log. Again, to help us evaluate the logarithm, we'll make it equal to x for now, where x represents our solution for the log. We can rewrite it as an exponent, log base 3 of 181st equals x, the base is 3. The exponent is always what's after the equal sign, equals the answer 1 over 81. Again, we can solve this problem by rewriting it as an, as an exponential, with the same base on both sides. 3 to the x, we can't do much with, but 81, is 3 to the 4th. We get the fraction if the exponent is negative. Again, we've got the same base on both sides, so we can say the exponents must be equal to each other. This gives us simply x equals negative 4. x represents the solution to the logarithm, so log base 3 of 181st must be negative 4. We can quickly evaluate a log by making it equal to x, and then rewriting it as an exponential equation.